Alan Tinwood is a 30-year-old man who describes himself as your average Joe, a son to his mother, an avid collector of old receipts and a postman for the past 10 years. But on the 5th of December 2018, his life changed forever. Yeah, so it was just like any other weekday, really. You know, I got home from work, cooked tea, recorded that's nice for mum, wash the cat, um, you know, the usual midweek errands. It was the next day, actually, well, the next morning, I realised, you know, I wasn't Alan anymore. I was Jon Snow, the king of the north. With choices of gender being a hot topic at the moment, it seems Alan has also fallen into this evolving bracket. So we followed Alan over the week to find out what being John Binary is all about and to see if much has changed in regards to his work life, love life and everything else along the way. I don't think it's that strange though. I mean, you know, people associate themselves with all sorts these days, don't they? I mean, you've got non-binary, uh, gender fluid, um... Vegan? Yeah. That's well in fashion. Exactly. I mean, Greg up the road thinks he's a microwave for God's sake, so... Yeah. He is technically mentally disturbed though. Yeah, but you know, if he could be an object used to reheat your dinner, then why can't I be someone from the past? Yeah, but he's from a fictional universe. Not Greg, no. <laughs> he literally lives like five doors up. I was talking about Jon Snow. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Try the other side again, the other side was much better. Alan felt the transformation wasn't easy, but this didn't come as a shock to him. Getting used to a new look is, is never easy, is it? I mean, I'd love to grow out the hair like Jon Snow famously has, but unfortunately um, nature, uh, you know, wasn't on my side on that bit. It's actually disgusting. Yeah, yeah, all right, go get the wig, go and get the wig, go and get the wig. We've had to go for a more superficial approach. eBay had everything, honestly. I mean, sword check, cape check, you know. Jon Snow original series belt and buckle, tick. Alan says he's never been one to gain much attention, so he's enjoyed having the crew around on a 24-hour basis for the past few days. He wants me to dress up like him. Hey, you know, hey, we, yeah, I'm not doing... These, these should fit fine. Yeah? I'll bring them down. I'll bring them down now. The ones I use, I'll bring them I'm down I'm not putting now. the tights on. You can't get me putting the tights on. He's on his way. Listen here now, Night King. You've got my dragons. I want them back and I won't be taking no for an answer. Come on, let's have it. Hey, Hey uh, hey uh, if you're not gonna, it doesn't look, you don't look anything like him. You should have put the, if you're not gonna put the tights I'm on, the tights if you're not gonna on. do it properly, then there's no point doing it. Shit, wrong one. Alan also seems to be getting noticed a lot in public. People want photos of me, of course. I mean, I'm a bit of a celebrity now, so well, at least I look like one anyway. Well, Becky John Snow pictures. The real John Snow. Come and see the King of the North, live. Here in love. Sometimes it's just with them, sometimes with couples, their pets. Yeah, no, come on, it won't, it won't take long. Come on. Well, just me on my own, you know, doing some of my moves. I've got moves, you know. I've got moves. Oh. He says it's been a positive experience overall, which has caused some okay. wanted and unwanted attention along the way. Martin Ebsworth, who I've delivered to for years, you know, he used to avoid me at all costs, but now he comes to the door pretty much every time. Yes, please. Uh, hi, Martin! Alan. Delivery, delivery! Hi. Come in. I, I can't come in now, Martin. Martin no, 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 no. You don't knock on anyone else's door, but you knock on mine. It's because, yeah, it's because it's special delivery, Martin. You, you, pay for this, you pay for this every week, Martin. We badges. spoke about this. Doing my no, 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 you lied about that last time. I can't. Like no, no, I didn't. No, no, I've got film here. We're going to do a film, so you've got to take this and go. Do they like badges? No, no, they don't. They don't like badges. Come mate. in and film come him on. weeing on the badger. No, no, he's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I've got to go. No, I didn't. I did not like it. You can wee on whichever badger you like. No, 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 dog suit. I can Should smash dog food time. in your face! You we'll have nice time. times! Go, go, go! See you go, tomorrow go. then! Go, go! Do you want to see the badges? I've got my badges out. Come and see the badges. Alan's new yeah. look oh, meant new yeah. obstacles when it came That's to the dating world. Johnson looking for love, yeah, very clever. And we wanted to know if it was for the better or the you know, worse. To my understanding anyway, John Snow was supposed to be a bit of a sex symbol, you know, a bit of a hit with the ladies. Hasn't quite been the case for me as of yet. Mid-action. Has he ever even seen John Snow? Beautiful. He looks more like Fred West. <laughs> How's that? Oh, we're just watching playback, Alan. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it pretty tough now since the change. His last girlfriend ran off with his stepdad. And he was 63! Yeah, who's now paralysed from the eyebrows down after a bouldering accident. So, you know, who's had the last laugh there? Me? 
because he's paralysed. We managed to find Alan a date, on, and he agreed to he let agreed, us come yeah, along and rich. document it. We wanted to find out if his big change was a new string in Cupid's bow for him, or the arrow in his back from Ygritte in the famous scene of the People hit like to get series. places fashionably late, don't they? Not me. I'd rather get there a little bit earlier, get my prep done, you know, make sure the date is perfect for my Juliet. So he made Go sure on. he got there early, and with time to spare to scope yes. out the place. That was always second, isn't it? Veil first one. Let's just rearrange, rearrange that a minute. Yeah. Uh, worth it though for love. It's all worth it for love. <laughs> Get um, this back on like that. Petals for my petal. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. So, voila. I think that's the uh, date sorted. Alan wanted to make sure his hot date went smoothly and to add his own personal Ooh, touches. Uh, take that away. John Snow brings his own candles. So with Alan's date all ready to go, we went along to see just how Alan struts his stuff when it comes to the dating world. Alan seemed to be making quite a first impression. What are you doing? Come on. No, come absolutely on, not. On, Can you stop right, touching me, please? There, there. Come on, I'll see you. Come on. Come absolutely on. not. Please leave me alone. Touch you, all right. So, how's it going? I don't really know what to say. Your producer said he booked me a cab five minutes ago. Is it here yet? Um. No, it's not going well. It's an absolute joke. He looks like a murderer or a paedophile or something. He looks like a fucking crow. He's got this wig Just and his cape. Just a little treat for you there. Yeah. Get used to that, so I'll give you two just in case you lose it. Handmade, there you are. So. How's it going, Alan? Yeah, really well, I think, actually. I mean, she seems to be really enjoying herself, doesn't she? Um, she doesn't really know anything about Jon Snow or Game of Thrones, but uh, I reckon she's a keen learner, and after a few more dates, winter is coming. And just between me and you, I've uh, got one last trick up my sleeve, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. Will you see him again? Absolutely not. Yeah. Oh, so our journey with Alan has come to an end. It's been a great learning process over the last few days, finding out what being Jon Snow is really like. Being accepted for what you are has never been more relevant in society today, and we hope Mr. Tinwood's John Binary transformation goes as smoothly as possible. I mean, it's not a choice I made, is it? Uh... I woke up and I was I was Jon Snow. So, you know, if I have to say, am I a better person for it though? Um, probably not. Let's take that off! It's John. It's it's John. Anyway, um, he's photoshopped himself with a normal. Oh yeah, he loves Deal or No Deal. I think his mum steered him away from Barrymore though after the incident, you know. He's lonely, yeah. You were found an old at all? Mate, how'd you keep getting in here? Look at that thing one alive. No, 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 no. no. Stumped on his head. Wait, he's still looking at me no, funny. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>